In Colorado, Jennifer Pereira and Eric Ilaraza are being invaded by thousands of honeybees. I felt I was being overrun by bees. I, I felt the bees wanted the house for themselves, basically. An exterminator removed thousands of them from their ductwork. But the bees are back. The couple think there must be a hive somewhere in the house, but they can't find it. The exterminator failed at stopping the onslaught, so the couple calls a beekeeper. He finds bees around the fireplace. And when he heads outside, he sees why. As soon as he looked up, he saw bees circling the top of our chimney. He got a ladder, went onto the roof. And he looked down inside. He said, you have a huge issue. The beekeeper has discovered a hive. He said this by far one of the largest ones he's seen. And he let us know it was over six feet long trailing down the side of our chimney. You know, it's really going to be tricky to get a, this hive out of here. As the beekeeper rips into the hive in search of the queen, he's engulfed. I just could not believe that I had that amount of bees. I couldn't believe it. It was thousands, thousands. Finally, he sees the queen and pulls her out. With the queen removed from the hive, the rest of the bees will leave. But next day, the familiar buzzing is back. They call the beekeeper. He says in a case this severe, every bit of the hive must be destroyed or the infestation won't end. Our next steps were to try to blast out the rest of the bees. As it got hotter and hotter, you can actually see the back of the fireplace look like it's glistening. So all of this black honey was bubbling out of the bricks and into our fireplace. It looked like a volcano had erupted. It was just pouring out. It took us weeks for us to actually say, you know what, the house is bee free. It's like you have to recondition your mind to get used to your normal house. To this day, we have not used our fireplace. We sealed it off so that no critter, including bees, could ever get inside of our chimney again.